Hey guys, Shurum here, and today I'm going to be testing the TVR Griffith at Golden Max in Gold League Multiplayer in Asphalt 9. Please consider subscribing if you have not already, and be sure to check out my Furum Clips channel, as well as my Purple Team Discord. You'll find the links to those down in the description, and I hope you enjoy these races. This is the first in a series of videos that I will be making of all the cars that I at one point made some video of, and recently have either maxed or started up more and just didn't get to making a new video about it after I maxed or started up. And typically, as is the case in this video especially, I will be testing these cars in regular classic multiplayer, but in a league or two even higher in this case than you might expect. You see, the reason why I'm able to test this car in Gold League when it is a D-class car is because it's actually faster than a lot of B-class cars that I'm facing. This TVR Griffith is many miles per hour faster than the Corvette Grand Sport that I'm facing in this race. And so if you got a track like Nevada, which has long straight sections, where the TVR Griffith can get up to and stay at its top speed for long whiles, then you can actually do okay with it. And that's kind of what I want to do with this series. Show how some of these older cars can still do well today in multiplayer, even in leagues above where you might normally see them. And in this video, we're going to be starting off with the race that took me to Gold League and ending off with the race that took me to Platinum League. I played every single Gold League race this season in the TVR Griffith, so I got to Platinum League with just this car. And in this video are going to be five of the best races I had on five different tracks to give a good variety so you can see just how I did it. In this first race, we beat basically a maxed out Grand Sport and went up 40 rating to get to 1287 in Gold League. And in this next race, we're going to be facing a Corvette, a Scalo, a Sin R1, a Porsche Carrera GT, all of which are above my rank, and half of them are above a thousand rank higher than me, which is kind of crazy, with the Porsche Carrera GT being the highest ranked one at 4001, whereas this TVR Griffith, for comparison, is at rank 2751. But again, like I said, it's really the speed that makes all the difference. Without that speed, there is no way that I could even remotely have a chance of catching up to cars like the Corvette. The thing is, if you are in Gold League multiplayer, you're going to see Corvettes all over the place. If your car is slower than the Corvette, you're not going to have too much of a chance against them, assuming they're halfway decently skilled players, because they're just so good in every other aspect that if you're not as fast as them, generally speaking, you're going to have worse stats than them in other areas and thus not be able to compete unless they mess up or just don't drive all that well. The TVR Griffith has worse stats than the Corvette in every aspect, except for the top speed. Now, in this race right here, US Midwest, I wasn't able to catch up to him because of a lot of the turns and stuff, which kind of are this car's downfall in a lot of cases, but he didn't get off the map or anything like that, didn't get too far ahead, and we do beat some Corvette Grand Sports in other races in this video. This one that beat us was over a thousand rank higher than us, but we also beat uh, the new Aston Martin 177, that 4000 rank Porsche Carrera GT, among other cars. Now, this next race on Osaka is interesting to say the least. You might consider our main competitor to be this 4,100 rank Huracan, but the car that I actually was battling the most throughout this race was a 2,800 ranked Dodge Viper ACR. Since this is Osaka, cars like that are going to do decently, even though they are quite a bit slower than my car here. They're much more agile and thus can keep at their top speed higher around the turns. Now, you'll notice his name is Marv. This is not actually Marf, I'm pretty sure, because Marf plays on iOS and this was on Windows. I do not own any iOS devices for the people to keep asking me if I'm going to play on iOS. The answer is no. If you guys don't know who Marf is, he's another Asphalt YouTuber who I watch pretty regularly, who co-hosted the most recent ESL Asphalt tournament with me. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure he just plays on iOS, so it's highly unlikely that this is actually him, but Marf, if you're watching this, um, maybe put this to rest down in the comments below. He was a good driver, so I was fooled at first. But perhaps he just created a secret Windows account that I don't know about. That's also a possibility. But in all seriousness, this was an incredibly close race against whoever this was up toward the very end here, where he got ahead around the final big bend, and I was just unable to get up to my top speed enough, quickly enough, to catch up to him. And he came in first, with this though not too far behind. 
And straight from one twisty track to another, our next race will be on Rome. This time against two Corvette Grand Sports as well as an Apex AP0 who is in my Purple Team Discord and who I saw a couple times while recording. Now, one thing that you may have noticed throughout this video is that not only does the TVR Griffith have very bad nitro and pretty bad drifting, it also does not have the best acceleration. At below 70, it is much worse than even that of the Grand Sport, which next to its relatively low top speed is generally considered to be its weakest point, because most of the other B-Class cars at its level and above have better acceleration than it, but it makes up for it with its other stats. The Griffith only makes up for all of its shortcomings in its top speed, and its top speed really does a number on a lot of races, as you can see in this video, but one trouble that I had was because this car's acceleration is so bad, and this wasn't ghost season, only the first 15 seconds of the races were ghosting, oftentimes I wouldn't catch up to a lot of people until after 15 seconds, then I would have trouble being able to pass them without getting knocked down or whatever. Oh and here I have no idea how I didn't get knocked down there, I was trying to take the shortcut over to the right as usual, but the Corvette was aiming for the ramp, he had shockwave when he hit me, and so I have no idea why I didn't just explode on the spot. But then I think he hits a traffic car and explodes himself, I I'm not really sure what happened just there, but but in any case, we're able to come in second here with Lycan Palsio coming in first. This brought us very close to Platinum League, and after a couple more kind of meh races, we finally got to this last one right here. I was only around 10 rating away from Legend League, and we have Lycan Palsio again, and the good thing about it is we finally got a more top speed oriented track. This should give me an easier time beating some cars like the Aston Martin GT12, which is the one behind me at the moment, and was my second main competitor throughout the race, aside from the SLR up ahead, which is faster than me, and so uh, there is no way I could really catch up to him unless he made a mistake. Because the TVR Griffith at Golden Max tops out at 219 miles per hour, which is faster than the GT12 at 217, but not as fast as the SLR's 220 something. Not sure exactly, but it is definitely faster, and that's why he is just getting a bit further ahead. But because it's Himalayas, I'm able to stay at my top speed for longer than on pretty much any other track, and because of that, I was slowly pulling away from that GT12 back there, and this leads me into my general review about this car. It's very track dependent as to whether or not you'll do well, because its top speed is its only like big strength, but it is a big strength, so if you get a track like Himalayas, you're gonna do very well. If you get other tracks, probably not so well, but as you can see throughout the video, you might still do okay. And in this final race, we do indeed get to Platinum League. Thank you all so much for watching, please like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt, Forza, Minecraft, and other games content. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!